Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. Um, I'm going to ask the all important question. How are you feeling? Um, Slightly stunned. <laughs> Surreal. <laughs> and if you could do me a favour and address my incredible questions, sure. the answers to these guys, because they, mm -hmm. they need it. They're, they're really needy. So, okay. tell me, honestly, what does this mean to you? Uh, well, it's, it's the peak of a career, absolutely, for me. And, um, you know, it's, um, it, and to have that happen on such a unique film, like this is just a real eye-opener. It's, it's been such a surreal and um, such a rewarding experience as a film. And what would you mm -hmm. say to people who don't necessarily understand the ins and outs of visual effects, where they mm -hmm. don't see poor things and immediately go, ah, oh, that has a lot of VFX in it? Sure. I mean, I think the thing that's unique about Poor Things, and it's worth mentioning, is it's not just about the visual effects, and the visual effects didn't overwhelm the film. So there's a lot of miniatures that are used, a lot of painted backdrops, and some really ambitious set builds. And so like our work um, is all about extending on that and expanding on it and not overwhelming it. And uh, so I like to think that's why we're up here today. <clears throat> we have questions, of course, from our beloved guests here. At the back, yes. Hi, um, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, and um, um, I mean, Robbie was like, I think, uh, like to throw every challenge that he could think of at us, <laughs> and uh, and that was incredibly rewarding. But it, it is there was a lot of conversation going in on that. But he was doing everything from um, you know four millimeter fisheye lenses to unusual film stocks like ectochrome and all these things that you very very rarely see these days. So I think he was very tolerant of us and very patient with us as we kind of re-educate ourselves and working in those ways again. And um, yeah, just very rewarding to work with Robbie. The film itself is artistically very extensive in the best way. Mm -hmm. As an artist yourself, when you're inspired by something like that, how do you rein yourself in to make sure you maximize and optimize the scene and mm -hmm. not veer off into making it so fantastic it's in Sure, sure. I mean, I think that's where we really um, you have to acknowledge that um, uh, Shona and James Price, the two production designers on the show, because they're, they're, it was their vision and they were, they were very um, clear with us. And even starting off, they literally gave us a 200 page document showing us what this world was going to be. And they stayed with us all the way through in post. And, uh, and I think that's really where, where, where it pays off and stops it becoming something that gets out of control. So. And our final question, I believe, Ella. Um, well, you can probably tell by the amount of grey hair on me. I'm, I'm more of a um, go to the cinema kind of person, really. So, I mean, I, obviously, I heartily embrace um, the flexibility and the, the multitude of options we have for watching things these days, but I really would like to see people back in the cinema as much as possible. Well, I'm sure we can all agree with that. We do love the cinema here. Mm. Please put your hands together once more. Thank you. The <laughs> winner for the BAFTAs 2024. Thank you, guys. Have a great rest of your night.